How's it going, Savage Life family? Today I'm going to teach you how to survive the crypto winter 2022. In a short video, have this quick little survival pack so you understand exactly what's to come and what to expect. So we are in a crypto winter. Here is how to survive. Definitely hopping right into it. More established cryptos have a better chance of surviving a prolonged market dip. So this means that the cryptos that have survived the previous market bear market season that we have had in 2018 are more than likely to survive this market dip as they have established a foundation. They have more holders. They have been around for a long time. They've weathered a storm. They are veterans. Now, for those of you who are invested in industries that aren't as developed and cryptocurrencies that have little to no utility, the risk is going to be extremely greater for those coins. You're already going ahead and hopping into a risky industry, jumping into crypto because it is not as heavily regulated as the stock market. If the stock market gets hacked, loses $200,000 of your money or your stock exchange, then you have that insurance by the FDIC to get that money sent back to you. As for crypto, if your crypto wallet gets hacked, you're pretty much on your own and there's nothing that you can do. And like that, he's gone. So if you are invested in these meme coins, to the moon, Shobi Liku, uh, Joe Biden coin 2022, points like that that's not the place that you want to be in and if we take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market coins that have weathered the storm are bitcoin ethereum coins that have been around since before 2017 even coins like litecoin heavily exchange coins like bnb binance we have ethereum classic we have Chainlink, and i'd even say ftx once it drops down a bit more since it is still at some hefty prices for the crypto winter so if you are not in a handful of coins and are invested in more than a handful of coins, you want to allocate those funds on safer investments, which you know are going to be here for a while once the market eventually recovers. Now, another heads up that you want to have is leaving your coins on an exchange. Now, Coinbase recently alerted customers to the fact that their assets could be at risk if it went bankrupt. Funds on other exchanges could face a similar risk. What does that mean? If you have thousands of dollars worth of crypto sitting on a crypto wallet on an exchange like Coinbase and they happen to lose all of their assets and go bankrupt, that means your coins that were left on that exchange are liquidity and you most likely are going to lose those assets. So if you are not planning on selling these coins anytime soon, leave them on a cold storage wallet like nano i have a link to it down below where you can purchase it trezor i use that heavily as well and that you just simply leave it in a safe you transfer etc bitcoin ethereum whatever coin it may be that has established that community and foundation and it is being here for a long time just focus on the number of coins you have rather than the price point that is currently at because I promise you years down the road, when we end up recovering, you're going to be ecstatic at the decision that you ended up making. So winters can feel bleak. And there are often points when it seems as if the sun will never shine again. But seasons and markets both follow cycles. Bear markets follow bull markets, just as spring and summer follow winter. So in the stock market, history shows us that prices have always eventually recovered as same for the cryptocurrency industry for Bitcoin, which has plummeted down from $20,000 price points to $2,000 price points for it to shoot all the way back up to those $69,000 highs. We're going to be seeing much more uglier down the road and it may even get uglier back within the next year of 2023 with the interest rates being on the rise inflation being on the rise and us being in the midst of a recession which i believe we are already there so what does that tell you it all comes down to not investing money that you are willing to lose for an example if you do not have an emergency fund on the side or you have a whole bunch of debt that's building interest 
it's best that you pay that off before you start investing in cryptocurrencies as a prime example it doesn't make any sense if you have a ten thousand dollar credit card debt with the 20 percent interest that's charging you hundreds of dollars month by month when you could just simply pay that off as time goes on because the market is not going anywhere it's not going to be here nor are we going to spike in the upcoming couple of weeks or months due to this huge ordeal with the recession with the pandemic and with the current administration let's be real so with this huge fall off you don't want to be in positions like terra luna for an example who has wiped out 45 billion dollars in the market cap in a mere days you may say it is a well-established coin a huge foundation it was a top 15 cryptocurrency but let's be real terra luna was ended up founded in 2018 Thought in my Mr. Kwan, who does not have a very healthy track record. And that is the problem when you are invested in proof of stake, centralized coins, because if something happens on the top of the food chain, it's going to come crumbling down to the actual assets. Therefore, goes again for a investment like Bitcoin, where there's nobody on top of the food chain. Nobody could absolutely do something despicable to crush Bitcoin at the top crumbling down its whole foundation as it is a decentralized asset there's thousands of miners causing those transactions to go through all on different sides of the world so there's also thousands of corporations invested in bitcoin building it expanding it as time goes on and that is an asset that you want to be invested in so due to a mixture of supply chain disruptions under investment in productive capacity overstimulated demand and the russia and ukraine conflict we have the highest inflation in the past 40 years this is going to be a much uglier crypto winter or bear market than we have seen in 2018 due to the massive amounts trillions of dollars that were poured in the crypto currency industry and the thousands of cryptos that have been created since 2018 to this date if we take a look at the exact number we are looking at over 19,900 cryptos and about two to three days is going to at least hit over 20,000 cryptos and the list goes on so that has to be whittled down and narrowed down to at the very least under 1,000 for the cryptocurrency to actually move forward so like i said in my previous video it's great that they are waiting out the froth because a lot of these coins are an absolute joke so Keep in mind, it is not only cryptocurrencies that have been affected, major public tech companies such as Facebook, Uber, Snapchat, we have also Tesla, have had job cuts and hiring freezes. Even though there has been a deluge of venture capital funding, we must be prepared for a crypto winter that is harsher and longer than in previous cycles. So the next Bitcoin having is in 2025 and that's when you have to actually prepare for. So that's the timeline that you should have set in mind if you are trying to become a millionaire overnight and you don't have any sort of insider information, then good luck because it's going to be extremely difficult in a volatile and bearish market like these days that we are seeing. So long story short, dollar cost average, continue hodling on these great fundamental coins and adding to your position worrying about the actual number of coins you have because if you choose this strategy you'll just have less hair to pull as time goes on and when the time comes where we actually see a recovery and the market starts spiking out you didn't miss out by panic selling out of your position in the earlier previous years and since you have been accumulating a dollar cost averaging you may have amassed a significant fortune by then so I'll be here every step of the way. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.